Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy 4th of July. Today we're going to be playing with a little bit more color. We've got a red, we've got our white, and now we just need a little bit of blue for the occasion. I'm not entirely sure what anybody's plans um, could possibly be for the 4th of July. I don't know where we're at in terms of things being open, big events like fireworks going off at like the mall, but that does not mean you cannot celebrate on your eyeballs. A little bit of eye art. So that's what today's video is going to be. I hope Hope that you guys enjoy it and that you're having a fun, safe, healthy day and we're gonna jump right into the video. So I did my brows and my foundation off camera and I look slightly more alive now. And who doesn't love that? The first thing that we are going to play with is actually going to be the Norvina Volume 2 palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am picking up one of my favorite brushes for packing a color on. It's like a little pom-pom on a stick. And the first thing that I'm going to do is pick up this E5 color, which is like this matte black. And I'm picking that up on like the side of that pom-pom, if you will. I think the idea that we're gonna be going for is like a, um, is like a, a so I'm starting off with this really deep tone and we're first just stippling that product right into the crease and ever so slightly higher than the crease. I'm gonna pick up a fluffy brush and we're gonna dip into this color right here which is before but we're doing it after. <laughs> That was bad. So we're gonna pick up this like navy blue color right there. We are gonna stipple that right into the edge of that black that we just placed down. Not going too much higher than where that black is diffused. We want those colors to kind of like melt together and create like a really pretty like so you can already tell that instead of looking like a stark black that is starting to get like that beautiful like night sky kind of like I do like to blend. I find it incredibly therapeutic. I didn't always think that. Um, and I will say that having like the right brush or just having played with it enough really does help. So I think I want to pick up C2 in the palette. Same fluffy brush that we just used. In the same way that I patted that first blue color into the black, like making it like kiss but not marry. You know what I mean? Where they like overlap just a little like we're gonna do the same thing with this blue color. So we're gonna concentrate it first right here. Look how vibrant that is. Tap, 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 swipe, swipe, swipe. Swiper, please swipe. And it may also help to pick up a little bit of that B4 color. Actually gonna switch to a more flat brush like so. Instead of going straight in like this, like we're gonna turn it ever so slightly so that we can take that and just like brush it across sideways to kind of help those two products get along a little bit better. There we go. Okay, that's what we're paying for. What a beautiful blue. The 4th of July was never a holiday that I was like particularly stoked about. I love Christmas. I love Halloween. I like Easter. Are you guys like firework people? Are you hot dog people? Gross. I just... They're as gross to me as that sound probably was to you. So we're picking up a little bit of the Morphe White Concealer, placing that on the back of our hand. I'm picking up a flat packing brush, like so. I'm saturating either side, keeping it flat. I don't like, you know. And we are going to tap this right here. It's somewhere in front of me, I know. Oh. It was. And we're just gonna stamp out the shape that we want. For those of you who are interested in it, I do have a super in-depth cut crease as well as a halo eye tutorial here on this channel and I can link that in the description box for you guys below. We're gonna pick up the Riviera palette also from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to tap into this white shade right here. I'm gonna try to find a packing brush that does not have color on it. This one is large, but that's fine. We like large and in charge. We're gonna pack that white shade, which is called Sales, right onto where we placed that concealer. You know what, I'm just gonna use my finger. Pretty. She bright. Now I'm using the top edge of this rounded brush just to really hit the outer edge of the hat cut. We're gonna pick up that same little pom-pom brush and that initial E5 color, which is that black. And we are gonna stamp that right here towards the bottom of the eye in our lash line. And then out, just a hair. 
I'm then going to pick up that B4 color because again everything is about layers and a gradient. We want that to kind of overtake that black just a hair. Alright, picking up that C2 color. Boom! Hey, come here often. Okay, I feel like this is looking like it needs a little something. What we are going to do is pick up that same like slightly flatter brush from earlier and I'm going to pick up just the tiniest little pinch of this really pretty who even really knows it kind of just looks like a mermaid in a pan kind of color. This is called D1. What I want it to do is sit right here in the outer skirts of that white. Oh look at that little like glitter moment. I'm actually going to switch to the fluffier side of this brush and pick up just a tad bit more and be a little bit more generous with that on the outer corner and you know if ever there is a good time to wear some glitter it's anytime you feel like it but also the fourth of july this is my version of um fireworks so i'm picking up that before color on a flat packing brush and we're gonna pack that deep blue right here on the outer edge we want to keep that nice and round in an effort to not look like a raccoon, I'm going to make sure that that blue starts to taper a little bit into that inner corner. Just to add a little bit more fun to this look, I'm gonna pick up this jumbo, what is it, like eyeshadow crayon, but they're waterproof. This is from Sephora, this is the color 39, my boyfriend's jeans. And I am going to pull down just a hair so that I can get to that waterline. Ooh, try not to stab yourself. Love, love, love this color. So I'm going to go off camera and make this eye match this eye. I'm also going to go ahead and do a little bit of like an eyeliner moment from the inner corner to the outer corner. We're not adding a wing or anything crazy and you are more than welcome to skip this step in the tutorial, especially if you're not planning on wearing false lashes. So um, I did pop that super bright blue right here under my eyeballs. Are those not even? This is the um, ColourPop Blue Mascara. I thought that we could use um, just a hint more drama, you know, because this is so muted. So what we're gonna do is borrow from the Riviera palette and instead go in with this. So I'm gonna pick a tight rounded brush. I'm gonna pop that shimmer shade right here in the inner corner. Beautiful. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a couple of dots in this upper brow bone like blue area to signify kind of like the night sky like stars. I'm really going to concentrate it right there. And now I'm going to like go ham with like fireworks. So for that I'm just going to make a series of like spiraled out like pom pom lines. I'm going to do it first in white and then I think what I will do is pick up some of my water activated paints on a very thin detailed brush and go in and kind of like add additional color that way. I feel like that purple is actually a little too deep for what we're going for, so I'm gonna make that one primarily white. I'm gonna add a couple more dots here. I'm adding more stars on this side because I want it to be like an asymmetrical kind of look. All right, the camera did stop recording there for a second, but basically all I did for my lips was fill it in with the Vibes Morphe colored pencil. It's like a brown with like a nice, rich, like warm undertone. And so I did that to kind of mute down the lip that I was using. This is the color Hot Shot. It's normally like an orangey red, but orangey reds don't always look that good on me. So I muted it down with this pencil. Also because our hair is like red-ish, but a little bit more like subdued. I didn't want them to clash too much, but also I don't care. 
All right, and that is going to complete today's tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified every time I post a new video and also drop a comment down below, anything else you guys would love to see. And if you guys like this video enough to recreate it and you post that on Instagram, please tag me in it. I love seeing your recreations. It just, it just makes my whole freaking day. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fun, safe, healthy 4th of July, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I was about to say a kangaroo, but that's, that's inaccurate. My brother is watching Gravity Falls. I got an itch. Oh, maybe that does bother me. <laughs>